Hey YouTube, Frogtoad here. Well, what I got is an update on the little Bofang radio. And uh, one of the things I did learn is that the... I remember when I first got it, I couldn't figure out how to use the, the little tray. Well, I was right. This did plug into the back of the little tray. But what I didn't know was you actually have to take the radio, the battery out of the radio and it sits in this part of the tray making contact there while the radio itself just kind of sits in the tray like that on your desk. So, hey, there was my first big discovery. And the second one was uh, after doing some downloads and some help with uh, from 92 Scallop and a hey, <laughs> 92 Scallop, thank you. Because, uh, the directions leave a lot to be desired on this radio. I was able to download, once I can get the camera to stay where it's supposed to stay, I was able to download this little program, um, and I will put the information down here. And I don't know how well you can see it, it's a flip camera, so, you know, cut me some slack. But the bottom line is using that data cable and then downloading this little program, uh, basically you can set all of the parameters of the radio right here on your laptop and then save that set of parameters as a file. So you can have several different ones if you want. I'm, I'm going to get into that a little bit later, some ideas I have. Um, what I did is I just did all the local, I took all the local channels I could find for uh, 2 meter, 440, and uh, FRS, and went ahead and put them in here. Now, I'm not going to show them, because they're, they're pretty much to my local area. But the point is that you have 99 presets, and you can simply load, I don't know if you can see the cursor here, I'm hoping, you can simply load all the frequencies and settings in any of these 99 uh, spaces here, and then all the other things, so scan modes, the, your squelch levels, all everything else that you would normally use the, the settings on the radio, which, you know, on this radio, quite frankly, are, are a little difficult. There's not a lot of buttons, there's not a lot of, there's not a key, a full numerical keypad, so it's kind of a pain in the butt, and I haven't even learned how to do it yet. I am going to learn how to do it because I'm not always going to have my computer with me, but just in the interest of not going insane, this is how I'm doing it now. So what I did was download this program. I put all the local frequencies I told you about in it, set all of the parameters that I wanted to set, again, with help from 92 Scallop. There wasn't a whole lot I changed as far as how the radio works. It was just mostly just getting the frequencies put in, which wasn't difficult. You really can just look up all your frequencies nearby you that your radio will handle, all your repeaters, and just plug them in, cut and paste. And then you write it to the radio, and there they are in the radio. And that's pretty much as far as I've gotten in the last week or so, except for doing some studying. Uh, the one thing I can show you is what uh, 92 Scallop calls uh, kerchunking, I think. Uh, I just call it pinging. What I can do is I'm, i got the radio on here, and it's tuned to one of the local repeaters. Now, I don't have my license yet, so I'm not supposed to transmit and talk, but what you can do is kerchunk or ping the repeater to make sure you're hitting it. And I've got four of them that are relatively close to me, within a hundred miles. Now, keep in mind, this little bitty antenna, and I'm sitting inside the house, um, and I'm going to be able, I'm going to try and keep this out of frame, because I really don't need to be showing the, uh, the frequencies for privacy reasons. But you'll see this little light come on red when I push the push to talk button and if the radio is making contact with the repeater it will come back up as like a, a, a small a quick transmission and this will turn green and you'll actually hear it so let's try it on this frequency see that it turned red and then pop you saw that pop of green afterwards and we'll try it with the next frequency I have in. Obviously something, because that just pink came through. Oh yeah. 
the third or fourth. There, see that ping back? Transmit, ping. Or kuch kerchunk. And then here's the fourth one. That one's actually. <laughs> Let me turn the squelch down a little bit on that one. That one's actually giving me some some background noise, so obviously I'm receiving from it. But for the record, there you go. Turn the volume down on that little guy. Actually, I'll get rid of that. I'll get off that frequency. So there you go, that's uh, not overly impressive, I agree. But for me, it's a start, and uh, I'm still learning. Um, I'm kind of finding websites and finding um, resources to learn, and as I do, I'll pass those along. But I had a lot of people ask me to, to kind of keep you all posted on what's going on with the, with the ham radio license thing, and that's where I am right now. I've got the radio functioning on the local repeaters, and I'm beginning to understand how the radio works. I've got, obviously, the computer program, the data cable, understanding how that works. And now it's a matter of studying and seeing if I can do some monitoring and listening. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Fair winds. We'll see you next time.